Hey guys, welcome back to my speedrun tutorial for Resident Evil 3 Any Percent. Last time we left off, we just finished the train crash, so we were about at the halfway point of the speedrun. Uh, we talked about the Deke strat, door skips, and just a general guide on the way up here, and some other stuff. Uh, in, the, in this one, we're going to be taking on the rest of the game. But we're also going to be talking about, because this is the first time it's relevant... Um, this is the first time where item locations are relevant because they can be randomly placed. They can be randomly placed between a couple different places, uh, and certain items we need, and they can be in more than one place. So you will need to know those locations. And the reason I say the reason I say that is because we need to know right now. So we need to pick up some gunpowders for the first Nemesis fight. And uh, there's going to be gunpowder A's in the save room coming up, but they can also be here. They'll be right here on this table along with two gunpowder B's. Uh, if they are here, they won't be in the save room, so you need to know this. If they aren't here, they will be in the save room uh, coming up. Not the one through this door, but, uh, but one coming up. And here's where your route can deviate. Uh, it, there's two different routes that you can take. I'm going to be going, obviously, since there are no early powders here, I can't go over the, I think it's been called the Super Gamer route. But, um, I'm just going to be going over the, the normal route that I use. Uh, but I will quickly go over the Super Gamer route. So if there are early powders here, you pick up all four of the powders. And you, we're going to pick up a key in here. That will skip getting the freeze rounds from Carlos in... Uh, in one of the next rooms so it saves some time and then since we pick up four gunpowders here we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make some freeze rounds out of that to kill nemesis that's pretty much the o the only other difference is that instead uh, since we use those uh, since we use our freeze rounds now instead of at the final nemesis fight we need some damage output there we grab the mine thrower that is also in this area but since we do not have those, we are just going to do the normal route. Even if we would have got early powders, I wouldn't have done that. So we're going to grab this key from this painting. Or this key half, I should say. So slow door, hang a left so you don't bonk off that chair. Count five steps, then skip a cutscene. Here's a gift. And we'll get freeze rounds from Carlos. Which we will not be using until the end of the game. Skip another cutscene. I do a quick turn there. This is the mine thrower that you get if you do the super gamer route. There's also a first aid spray over there if you need it. There can be zombies or brain suckers there. It's not. It doesn't really matter. So if you don't get early powders, the gunpowder A's will be right here, and the B's will be on the floor. But you don't want to pick those up. And now we have a full inventory, which is why we had to get rid of our first aid spray earlier. So this zombie dodge is a little bit hard. You want to quick turn as soon as possible, and then run, and then like be turning right as you're quick turning. I missed it because I can't talk and do stuff like that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna walk up the staircase. You can get trolled by Nemesis, like I just did. It costs you about three seconds. He'll just roar at you. So there's a chance for that to happen, but there's also a chance that it won't happen. So we're going to run through this door and use the key that we picked up in the save room here. And we're also going to drop it. And then we're going to do the music box puzzle. Which is, the solution is always set, but the amount of pins that you have to change is random. So we have a 1, 2, 3 change here, I believe. And... So the solution that it always is, and I believe it'll say this in the Puzzle Solutions Guide on the SRC, is up, down, up, up, down, up. So we have to change three different pins, and I'll go over the controls right here real quick. This, this is up, this is down, this is currently next, and this is exit. Uh, once we get to the last pin, next will change to play, or whatever it is. So we're going to change this one up. Then we're going to next, then we're going to down, 
And I believe this one right here is back, so if you go too far, you can hit back. Alright, so next, 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 up. And then you're gonna hit play. I don't know if you can get a 6 change, but I know you can get a 5 change. I don't know if I've ever gotten a 6 change, but I've got plenty of 5 changes. But you can, in fact, get a 1 change. Grab this, and we're going to do a menu here. So, the way I normally do this particular menu is I, I swap the grenades, mix the powders mix the powders with the regular grenades and then put them back in and then put the now flame rounds into the grenade and then mix the key and then combine the key so we're just going to do that i'm doing it slower than i normally would just so you can kind of see what i did so yeah you want to end up with the completed key and 12 flame rounds in your grenade launcher but you don't want to equip it you move slower with a two-handed weapon so you don't want to carry a two-handed weapon so Nemesis is going to say hi again, and we're going to promptly say hello back by electrocuting him. Yeah. Right, skip that. You don't get to see it. Run through this door. Uh, hopefully the poisons don't spider... Uh, the poisons don't spider you. I can English good. Hopefully the spiders don't poison you. If they do, there is a blue herb, an infinite blue herb right there. But if pretty much if you get a top time, you're pretty much screwed. So we're going to come this way. Oop. Slow door through here, more spiders, take this line. And then this puzzle this puzzle has six different solutions, and we got the best one. It is eleven o'clock. Uh go off the middle portrait here. This is one of the few puzzles one of two puzzles in this game that I don't have memorized for all of the solutions. I have I have the best and worst solutions memorized just because they're the easiest. Uh but this is gonna be on the on the SRC puzzle solutions guide, the way that the person has it written up is this uh, like this one starting on your left. So on the guide that it shows you, it'll say amber, obsidian, crystal. So that's amber here, obsidian here, crystal here. But the way that you want to read it off to yourself is from right to left. So crystal, obsidian, amber, because you're you're always closer to this one to start off with. So we're gonna come over this way and we're gonna grab. Uh, well, like the way. So the way I enter this room, you don't have to do this. You can grab all three of the things first and then walk up here. But you don't have as much time to. If you're new, you don't have as much time to like read what solution you need. So I walk over here, see what solution I need, and then come over here. And then while I'm picking these up, I can be seeing what solution that I need. But we're going to be pretty much... The reason why this is the easiest one is because it's always the first one in the inventory. Oops. And move forward. Derp. Some more Deke Strat. Poorly performed, might I add. Alright, so we're going to grab this gear and leave. So we're gonna take a, we're gonna run into this wall, do a quick turn, so we don't get poisoned by those spiders, as you can see. You get a pretty consistent poison dodge. Run back up the stairs. Man, my nose is really itchy. And we're gonna run this way. Come back up the ladder, and we're gonna grab the silver cog piece. Equip your grenade launcher and combine the two gear pieces and then use it on this thing. Then we're going to turn around and run downstairs. The reason we're equipping this grenade launcher is because we're about to fight Nemesis in a fight that we have to have to do. So come through here, slow door, and then skip two cutscenes. Okay, so on this fight we're going to be attempting to do something called quick shots. And that's pretty much shooting, the, uh, shooting your weapon faster than you're intended to. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your aim button. I hold my aim opponent button here. And then after your first shot, you want to just com you just want to hold down the attack button and let go of the uh, let go of your aim button cuz you're going to have to mash that button, not your fire button. And I don't know the exact timing, but pretty much when Jill starts to raise after she 
puts another grenade into the grenade launcher and starts to raise it back up is when I start mashing my, my aim button to try and get a quick shot off. It's all timing. You can do it with every weapon except for the mine thrower and one other weapon, I think. And it's all different timings. So we're going to try and do some quick shots here. Don't Okay, so, after the ver so you're going to do a quick shot right here. And then after the first one... So after the first two grenades, you don't want to do a quick shot because there's a chance that that one can get eaten by the game. So no quick shot there. And I fucked up right there. So after six shots, Nemesis will go down. Wait till he lays flat and then lay into him some more. Oh man, some bad quick shots. Oh! Okay, so I'm sorry, takes all 12 of your flame rounds to kill him. Please, wake up. So after six, he'll fall. So just count to six. And if he falls, you want to stop shooting. Wait till he completely no. hits the ground and lays flat for like half a second to a second. Away. And then just continue shooting into him. I'm still alive. There's more information on quick shots in the SRC. And in the SRC guides section and in the forum section. So we're going to equip our pistol because running with a one-handed weapon is faster. Unless it's the Magnum. You don't want to be running with the Magnum ever if you're for some reason using the Magnum. So take that line to get past those zombies. It can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so we got brain suckers here. If you get spiders, you want to take the same lines as you did with Jill coming through here. Brain suckers. I don't know if there's a correct line to come through here, to be honest, uh, because these guys suck. There's three brain suckers, and you want to just try and get past them without getting hit. That's like all you can hope for. All right, so come this way. We're gonna push the spell twice, and then stop, and then you can you can just sneak through the door. All right, so gonna take this line. So two zombies uh, go. Oop. Don't. Okay. So hug. I I didn't hug that enough, but pretty much go to the right of the first two zombies and to the left of the second two zombies. This is my other favorite cutscene of the game because Carlos just shrugs for no reason. Here we get to watch a zombie get not beheaded. I have to run through this way. There's a first aid spray right here. I'm going to grab this just in case we get zombies upstairs. So through there. I'm going to grab this guy right here. Mash through this. And then you're going to use the voice recorder on it with some funny text or funny, uh, funny voice, uh, funny voice acting to me, to me. All right. So you want to go to the fourth floor first and hopefully we don't get zombies and we didn't. If you get zombies, well, like I kind of hope we got zombies up here so I can show you what to do. Um, the only thing I can say to do is to watch a run that has zombies upstairs in it. I think Bokba Soup's 4256 has uh, has zombies upstairs. So for here, there's going to be four different RNGs, and we'll talk about them in a second. You want to run into this room. Okay, so we got the worst RNG possible. Um, this, this thing will be in one of four corners in this room. If you see worms, you already know you got bad RNG. Because um, worms are only here if this thing is in one of these two positions, and that's bad RNG positions. If, if you walk in here and you do not see this thing on screen, uh, do what I did and check this this corpse right here, and it'll give you the passcode. And I'll show you the corresponding. Uh, oh, thank God they almost grabbed me. I'll show you where each RNG is. All right, so it's pretty much a mirror. So since in the other room that cabinet was here, we need to push it to be here. That's why it's the worst because it takes the longest to push there. Alright, so, in order from worst to best, uh, the RNGs and their codes are 104. I believe this is 325. This is the best one. Uh, well, I said best to worst. Uh, worst to best. So, this is 235. And this is 531, which is the best one. And the one you want. Um, don't, uh, so Bokba Soup, uh, he YOLOs Carlos, which is ignoring the previous room and just always pushing it here. It only saves five seconds, so I don't recommend doing that. And it, 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 it saves five seconds, but can potentially lose your run if you're a top player. So we got 104, so we're going to push this guy over here. 
You don't have to push it that far out, but I just did on accident. Just two, pu two full pushes will push it out enough so that you can push it this way. Now you still need to remember that code because we're gonna have to push, uh, punch it into a safe that this unlocks. Uh, that was kind of a bad password entry, but whatever. So grab that, and we're gonna come this way. That was a slow door, by the way. All right, so. Since we didn't get zombies upstairs, you you want zombies in the basement. Oop, I didn't want to go there, but okay, well. Mistakes have been made. Get wrecked. All right, that was fun. All right, so we know we got hunters in the basement now. <laughs> Um, if you get zombies on the first floor, you just tank, you just tank the bites and run out. Alright, so run past that guy. Grab this thing. Use the thing here, and then activate this thing. This solution is always set. It's one, three, then this symbol and A. It is always set. So run this way. These hunters are going to bust out. And we're just going to be like, well, I'll see you later. Slow door. Pre-turn there. Walk behind this guy. And then out we go. Alright, so if you get zombies down here, the reason why it's the best RNG because you can just... Uh, not use your use your regular aim button and just fire and you'll blow all the zombies up but if you get hunters you have to run this way wait a second or two and then fire because you if you don't then this guy will live he'll be like over here out of the way of the blast all right so now that, now that we know that we got zombies up here <laughs> like I said uh, just tank the bites from the zombies and run on past them So, slow door, followed by another one. You can hold aim through this door to make this a little bit easier getting through here. If you get worm, and if you get worms here, this door is a fast door. Alright, so since we got brain suckers, we're just gonna try and get the fuck out of here. Alright, cool, we got through pretty quick. I also recommend if you get brain suckers there and you're a new runner to still pick up the first aid spray in the hospital. Because they can and will wreck you. All right, so run up this way. And if you, if you have both of these and you end up using your first aid spray beforehand, you can mix these and then you can just hit confirm on Jill so you won't have to reopen your menu. All right, so now we're Jill again. We're gonna run over here. Oops. Run over here, replace the uh, ammo tool with the knife and go on and leave. Nemesis is gonna bust out. And we're just gonna hold right past him. And then keep on going. He's gonna chase us through this room, but not this room. And he's gonna chase us through this room, but not until a second. So you wanna grab these grenades. If you forget, there are a couple places where you can grab backup grenades. One of them is uh, only a chance to get them, and the other one is 100%, and neither one of them are out of your way. So come into this save room. Um, one of the places, if you forget, forget to grab those grenades, these mine thrower rounds can also be regular grenades. Take this line. Oop, I didn't quick turn. All right, let me let me let me do this again. All right, so run forward, quick turn, and you can run past that guy if you hug the wall. You don't have to. You don't have to do. Uh, you don't have to hug the wall or like run into the wall, but it gives you a little bit more of a window to get past that zombie. All right, so there are two different RNGs coming up. Um, right here, you can either get hunters or zombies. Um, again, I was hoping for the worst RNG here so that I could show you what to do. Um, and in the next room, you can either get dogs or hunters. You want dogs. So you want hunters here and dogs in the next room. 
Uh, if you get hunters in the next room, you just kind of got to run past them and pray. All right, so we got hunters. We're going to try and sneak past that guy. You want them to jump over you. You don't want them to slice at you. All right. And they're... Okay, so we got out of there pretty clean, but getting back through is a different story. All right, so we'll run to the left of that guy and to the right of this guy. Then we're going to come this way. Um, just for knowledge, if you get poisoned, there are blue herbs and green herbs over here. This puzzle is always set as well, so it's going to be this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And fast, that will look... Come down here, run to this ladder. We're gonna be going to fight the grave digger. Dur, 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 dur. So run this way. Again, you can hold confirm here instead of spamming it. To this ladder. Little lefties, righties. Slow door going in, fast door coming out. So we're going to grab these and then these two gunpowder bees. Alright, so, if you are comfortable with running this game, you can just run over here and do what we're going to do here in a, uh, and do a menu of first use the lighter, then get rid of it, and then... Okay, well, I'll, I, like, I'll just do the menu as normal, so you'll do, you'll do this if you're comfortable with the run, but I'll show you a safety you can, you can do. So, use that, it'll get this out of your inventory, then equip this, mix these with your normal grenade rounds, do that, and then use the pipe. But if you are, if you took a lot of damage, and you haven't healed in a while, you can come through here, this is, this is also... Uh, one of the only sa the only save room door that isn't circumstantial that is always a fast door coming. In. You can come in here, uh, mix the grenades, and then put them in here, and then grab this first aid spray, and then come through here, use the lighter, equip the grenade launcher, and use the pipe. So if you forget to grab the grenades, there is always six normal grenades right here. I don't think it matters when you pick them up. I don't think it's much of a speed difference, I'm... but... Yeah, you want to pick up that key and come this way. So now we're going to fight Grave Digger. And hopefully he does not body me, body me, but I have backup saves for this. So... Not a good start. You just want to quick shot him as much as you can. Stop shooting him right here. It takes nine shots to kill him. You want to run up to this rock right here and stand on it or behind it. Do if I just kind of let him hit me. You just want to kind of bait him out four times. It can be five times. Ooh. Just letting him body me. Hopefully it's not five. Okay, it looks to be four. We had don't suck like that, and then we're gonna shoot the last two grenade rounds into him. Equip the knife and run this way. Now we can get comboed in the uh, in the park, so I am going to be picking up. Uh, I'm going to be picking up these herbs up here. If you you can get spiders here, which is why I told you about those blue herbs. Um, take the same line you took as Jill or as Carlos with spiders in the clock tower. Just do a little run to the wall, quick turn, and run around to, and run around a spider. So I'm gonna grab two of these just in case we get bodied by the hunters in the park, just so they can't kill me. Like I said, I do have backup saves for practice and such. All right, so stand on the staircase, wait for the zombie to get close, and then run around him as he vomits. Go to the right of this guy, 
and then swing swing wide around to that one. All right, again, there's a lot of praying that's involved here. You want to you want that guy to jump, and you want this guy to jump. Okay, so they both did exactly what I wanted. So before I go into the dead factory, I'm just gonna use this. Skip this cutscene. Stars. And again, the first option, and then skip another cutscene. And then slow door. Do another little left sees, right sees, and we're gonna go through this door. Slow door, and then cutscene skip. There is a first aid spray right here. I always grab that one. And then the worst hitboxes in the game, bar none, are the switches. Hit this switch. Hit this switch. And then walk into that steam and mash your confirm button, and you can hit that without having to lower the steam on it. Alright, then hit that button. Hit that button. Wow, I actually did that pretty quick. Alright, so come back through this way. You can run underneath this guy. Fast door going in. Grab this disc, and just to show you why I'm doing this, there's a bunch of zombies down here blocking your way, so we're gonna reset the room. Slow door. See, now they're out of the way. There are three different uh, RNG patterns that can be down in this next room. You can either get hunters, zombies, or brain suckers. If you get brain suckers, take a wide line outside of the, the door. And if you get hunters or zombies, you can just run straight for it. And we got... That's the way I always run is what I did. So we got zombies. Uh, coming out, it's all pretty easy. Oh, we got worms. This is the best RNG. So you can either get worms or hunters here. Uh, hunters is by far the worst. This room claims a lot of runs. If you get hunters here, if you drop down fast enough, you can like... Oop. You can take that line and pray that they don't grab you. Jesus, I am getting just wrecked over here by worms. And then you just gotta try and get up here before the hunters body you. So come over here and grab this and we're gonna go to the last puzzle of the game. My door skips are not on point. Oh, okay, so... There are three sets of gunpowders here. Uh, they'll be in the save room where I picked up the first, uh, the first first aid spray. And I don't know how many grenades it takes to kill a nemesis, but if you're not super good at the waste disposal nemesis, you can make a bunch of freeze round. Uh, you can make a bunch of freeze rounds and try maybe, or just like ammo in general. I can't remember the the proper mixture for freeze rounds. So use this thing on this puzzle. Uh, there's four different RNGs for this. This is, I think this is the second best. Yeah, this is the second best. So this one, we have to move the A level to the left once, B level to the left twice, and C to the right twice. So, left. Um, this is play, by the way. Don't hit that one unless you're absolutely sure. All right, so, now left two. And then right two. And then play. Back out of that. All right, so we're gonna leave. If uh, if you got hunters here on your way back through, oop, I always I've been doing that so much lately. All right, so if you get if you got hunters here, I kind of stop here pre-turn and just run through here, and usually one of them will jump over you, and you'll be able to get past both of them pretty consistently. All right, so if you get zombies here, hold your confirm button, run behind that zombie. Oh, I was a little bit slow, but you can usually make it there with no issue. All right, so we're gonna hang left outside of this, but we're gonna take a wide line to not get grabbed by that zombie, and we're gonna move on to my worst fight in the game, Waste Disposal Nemesis. So skip a cutscene there, skip a cutscene there, and use this. This is mainly why I grab at least two first aid sprays throughout the Dead Factory. And also because I get hunters a lot. 
feel like if I don't get hunters, I would only grab one. Because there's another one later I can grab. Alright, so Nemesis is going to hop down. So as soon as they come into as soon as I come into frame, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna like talk about this fight a little bit more. So this entire fight is gonna take place over by this area. So you see this lever right here? He's gonna knock this, and acid is gonna come out of it and hit him. Um, excluding this hit, it takes three of th three hits from acid to kill Nemesis. Um, so. We're going to try and have him walk into acid three times. It, it's a little bit tricky, and you can only have one active at once. So acid can only be coming out of once at one point. So you don't want to hit one too quick and no acid comes out. So in this first one, we're going to wait about two steps of Nemesis before we hit uh, this first switch. One, two. I'm going to hit it. Wait for him to attack me, and then run away. That hit him. Then we're going to come over here, wait till he fully stands up, then hit that one. Wait for him to attack, run away. I stand close to him, wait till he stands up, let him walk towards me, and then hit that one. Now you can stand by this, just to make sure he walks into you. Oh, please tell me that actually killed him. Okay, it did. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, did that not count? You can run away from him. You can run past him and run away, but there's a chance that he'll track you enough to walk away from it. Uh, you don't necessarily want to heal like that. You would more so want to pick up this key card, walk over here, and then heal right here. That went way better than the last tutorial I tried to make. It took me three tries to beat him. Alright, so the next room is called the Orgy Room. Uh, there's a line on the SRC. It's a wolf line that uh, I'm going to attempt here. This is one of the hardest zombie dodges in the game. Oh, I almost got past him. I got a cut on my finger, so I have to keep periodically checking to make sure it's not bleeding. Alright, so we didn't get super game... Uh, we did... Oh, it, okay, it kind of fixed itself. <laughs> you can get what's called Super Gamer there, and, uh, like, uh, two zombies will be side by side and blocking you. Alright, so the last first aid spray in the game is right here. I'm picking that up just so you guys know where it is. Skip a cutscene, down the ladder. Watch out for that. This zombie right here can grab you, and then we're going to hit this corner and run past that zombie. And then we're going to move on to Final Nemesis. Oh, right. I always forget that I kind of have to do something here. I keep wanting to check out, uh, check my fallout shelter. Alright, so, activate the gun, and we're going to go push battery number one. And trigger the cutscene where Nemesis comes down and eats on a, I believe, a tyrant. So these things kind of have wonky hitboxes. Push that in, cutscene activate. And we're going to quick turn and go right towards battery two. Now this fight, if you're trying to one-cycle Nemesis, this fight can be a little bit scary because you have to pretty much put yourself in, in this corner with Nemesis. So, just to go over quickly, in order to one-cycle Nemesis, you need to... This cannon's going to fire a shot that breaks this wall. That first shot also has to hit Nemesis in order to one-cycle him. Oh, is he falling already? Okay, no, he's not. Cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and one cycle, but in the last tutorial I attempted to make uh, 
Didn't go so well. I actually almost died. Alright, so... Pull out the grenade launcher. He's still up there. I want him to fall. Okay, so he fell in a pretty bad place. I need to try and get past him. Okay, so he fell. I want him to walk into this. Okay, so he's going to get hit by this, so that's good. Alright, so that hit him, and now we're going to try and run past him, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, we are. Sweet. So now, going to hit him with the rest of our freeze rounds. And just to be sure, I always just start shooting him. Just punch it, just dump as many shots as I can into him. And there's your one cycle nemesis. Now, if you get put into caution, don't bother healing. It'll waste more time than it'll save. Because there's not much game left. So I'm in caution, so I'm just not even going to bother. Hit this door. Now, this is the only selection that you have to make that is the second one, and I'm going to show you exactly why you do not hit the first one. If you accidentally hit the first one, you cry, because you have a long, long cutscene. Though it is badass. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Yeah, he's dead for keeps this time. I can't direction. Okay, so walk through this door. Then you're going to hit this elevator. Hold right and forward, and you're done. Final time will be as soon as this screen goes completely dark. And like right as soon as that starts to load that's when that's when it's over and, now we have a and congratulations you have the just made it through Resident Evil 3 any percent so I said at the end of part President one that this game is actually a pretty fun game to run even though it can be frustrating pretty much every speed game is going to be a little bit frustrating at the higher levels but with this game, you don't have a lot of frame-perfect tricks, uh, hard glitches, pretty much you just don't have a lot of shit that uh, is, is hard to learn. It's, it's pretty much all movement, menuing, and just like knowing where to go and what to do. It's, it's pretty much that in basic terms. There's some other stuff to it, but... It's, that's the gist of it. That's what makes it so fun to run for me, just because it's all execution, and just, it's, it's your ability to play the game versus the randomness of the game and being able to adapt to the situation. So I hope this guide was helpful to you guys, because this, this is less of a tutorial and more of a guide on where to go, um, instead of just watching a run and going off that because this way you see where I'm going but I'm also kind of walking you through some of the the lines to take and why you're doing them so you have a little bit more knowledge on the game instead of just doing them and not necessarily knowing why you're doing them so if you do a run of this uh, we go off of in-game time so you have to wait until the final splash screen where it shows you your in-game time. If you use an auto-splitter, which I recommend for this game, then uh, it, go, it, it pretty accurately follows the in-game time, but I still recommend you follow uh, that you wait until the final splash screen, just in case of anything, really. So we're just going to let this this amazing music play out and wait for our in-game time of 
this tutorial because I didn't have to load a save this time. Alright, so, presented by Capcom, and our final in-game time for this tutorial is an hour, one minute, and 34 seconds. <laughs> Not even sub-hour for the tutorial. So close, though. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I made this because there was no other video guide for this game except for one part by the world, world record holder was cake um, and he only covered less than a quarter of the game but he was going a little bit more in detail this was pretty much for like for new runners to pick it up and you can kind of learn on your own so once again thank you so much and I will see you all later